UW360 is proudly supported by Pacific Office Automation, Copy, Print, Workflow, and IT, Problem Solved. The UW is the oldest university in Washington State, and yet only one building on campus is nationally registered as a historical site. And no, it's not Husky Stadium. Perhaps Susilo Graduate Library, a museum, an archive, and in its own way a piece of art itself. Uh, no, it's not that either. Okay, it's gotta be Dunny Hall. It's the oldest building on campus. All right, fine. We'll tell you. Introducing the Old Canoe House. Settled on the edge of the west shore of Union Bay, almost lost in the bustle of sailors, rowers, canoers, and traffic headed through the Montlake Cut, the humble canoe house conceals decades of history in the beautiful scenery. I mean, I had the best memories here last summer, last spring, and so I decided to bring out my day. Yeah, it's pretty nice to have a university so close to the water. Um, I think the students are having so much fun. It was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. There's really no other way to describe it. <laughs> We're so lucky to be here <laughs> and to like, have this spot. The Canoe House has been home to the Army and Air Force in both world wars, families, university classes, canoe rental businesses, and sailors. It stands as a living memory to all that is water going at the UW. I, as a historian, am very happy that the building survived. Ken Howe is the head fleet captain of the Washington Yacht Club, a sailing program that used to operate out of the old Canoe House and has taught generations of UW students, faculty, staff, and alumni to harness the wind out on Union Bay. Well, the city of Seattle saw it as such a visual presence on the ship canal, being sort of a fixture on it, was one of the first things they saw. You know, this is the classic old, old building on, on the water. The Canoe House is partially famous for being a part of UW's contribution to both world wars. In World War I, the Canoe House was intended to house seaplanes that young pilots would train in. At the time, a canoe builder, George Pocock, got his start working on pontoons for the planes. He would go on to build racing shells in the canoe house for the famous Boys in the Boat, the crew team that took home the gold at Hitler's infamous 1936 Olympic Games. These are some of the original red cedar rowing shells that George Pocock built in this building in his small upstairs workshop. And so we are seeing it like it would have been viewed when somebody came down from the workshop and went down to ready a boat. Boy, in our sailing program, we still use the famous crew team's wooden lockers as our storage, so we've kept a piece of the history of the famous rowing team in our sailing workshop. In World War II, Pocock was once again able to contribute to the war effort by putting his workshop to use. His shop was utilized for making small parts. So it was small construction, but for the World War II war effort. So this was a war factory <laughs> for a short time in World War II. There are more stories to tell, and unfortunately too many to tell you here. If you're curious to learn more, get out on the water yourself and become part of the generations of Huskies that have made Union Bay and Lake Washington a part of history.